Yeah, we're just all about it. Come on now. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hoped that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all stunk in the beds with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I blew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Excuse me. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and fix it, O Comet, O Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the house stop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoop. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished in ashes and soot. A bundle of toys. He had a hoop on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they flew like the dawn of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, to all, and 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 to all a good night.